Hello there. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me. It's a beautiful rainy day out there. And you all know how I like rainy days. I just love them. It's going to water my tomatoes, which means I don't have to water my tomatoes. <laughs> because my hose is laying on the ground out there and James got to work on it. Anyway, I had my Bible that I slept with out in California. My favorite old Bible, King James Version. And we was in Oak Nell Noise, 1980. I made a note of where we was. We hadn't been on the evangelistic field too long, but we was traveling for the Lord, holding revivals, preaching Sunday through Wednesday, and then we would travel Thursday and Friday and go to another church. So anyhow, it says in Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter in the sixth verse, be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. May the 4th, 1980. It's been a long time ago, but I have on my refrigerator, let go and let God and sometimes I have to do that. I just have to, I just have to let go and, and not worry about Because, you know, even us Christians that love the Lord, we get anxious sometimes. And our pastor was preaching. We were streaming him last night. And he said, he, pray, he was praying for people that wanted healing. And we believe in healing. We believe God heals. He made us. He can heal us if he wants to. And if we have the faith which sometimes is real weak. But he told about the woman that just touched the hem. She didn't touch God's, Jesus' body. She just touched the hem of his garment. And he, she was healed. And I've been healed many times. But I'm going to tell you all today about a time that James and I had when we was living in our beautiful home up on Old Hill Road. We only spent nights and weekends there, and maybe not many weekends, because nothing going on up there. Lots of things going on in town. But I started, in the summertime, in the spring, I started getting bit at night. And I, we had a window open, and we had an air conditioner. Uh, it was getting kind of warm, and turn it on. And so there was something biting me, and I was sure it was mosquitoes. And I would just, it was so bad. I was so allergic. I'm so allergic to mosquito bites that I would itch and I would cry. And I said, honey, we don't have mosquitoes down in New Albany. Let's go sleep down New Albany. Sometimes at 9 o'clock, how those mosquitoes were getting in there, I don't know. So I got those mosquito killers, you know, that zappers that kill mosquitoes no matter what. Well, there wasn't any mosquitoes in it, but I just fought them. And what, I would wake up at night crying, and I would itch for 20 minutes when I got bit. And we fought that for, I guess, six or eight weeks. Trying, I made, I made him change the air conditioner. I said, they're getting in there somehow or other. They're coming in through the air conditioner, which proved to not be true. It wasn't mosquitoes. Now here's the slammer. I could not believe it. For some reason or other, we was changing the sheets and I saw this bug crawling up the wall. And I looked at it. I said, James, do you know what that is? He said, no, what is it? I said, honey, that's a bed bug. I said, we had bed bugs when I was little and mom used to put kerosene on the mattress and the rails and everything in our springs, take them outside, put kerosene on them, and that's how we got rid of bed bugs and the sun. And I said, so I said, let me look at our, my mattress. So I went and I took, we had was taking the sheet off and I lifted the cracks. It was full of bed bugs. I mean, bed bugs. And do you know, they don't bite James. They only bit me. I couldn't believe it. Bed bugs everywhere. He said, we're getting rid of that mattress. 
So Buddy, he hauled that mattress outside to take it to the dump, and we got us another one. But a lot of times, it would be so bad with bed bug bites that I would say, take me to town, there's no bed bugs. There was no bed bugs at my house, which no mosquitoes is what I thought it was. And we tried every way in the world to get rid of mosquitoes to discover us a clean, nice family had bed bugs. I said, James, how did we get bed bugs? I don't understand. He said, stop and think. We do yard sales. We do the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, and they can travel. All you need to do is get one on you and you can have bed bugs. So then we began the battle. We got a new mattress and bed, all that. And then we tried spraying. And you know what? They were still showing up. So I thought, what can we do? So I researched it. That diamasis earth. Somebody said, I YouTubed everything, how to get rid of bed bugs. And that diamasis earth, which you can get at Home Depot, Home Depot food grade, and you have to put it in your, uh, where your lights plug in the wall. You have to put it all on your carpet and, and then vacuum real good, but you, it takes a while. So when we got done getting rid of uh, bed bugs, we had to change the carpet. Well, we did that to start with. And then we put down a flat carpet. We did all kinds of things. We had spray, we had powder, we fought the battle. Now there's Big Tom over there on the table playing with something, and my nose is itching like crazy. I, they say when your nose itches like that, you're gonna get company. I don't want the company this morning. I wanna go over to the dumpster dive. You know what the dumpster dive is? I call it the dumpster dive. That's where you can get stuff you pay by the pound. And I'm looking for a flat cushion to go in my Lincoln where I had duct tape it yesterday so that that duct tape won't get on me. I already take a picture of that boy over there playing with that. He is sure having fun. I don't think I could turn it around. What are you doing? Cut that out. He don't mind too good. But we finally, it took six months. Now they didn't get in the rest of our house. They were only in that one bedroom, the one we slept in. And I saw that one crawling up the wall. And then the battle began. But did I fight mosquitoes before we discovered it was bed bugs? So y'all be careful of stuff you buy. When I told James I was going to the dumpster dive this morning, he said, don't be bringing home any bed bugs. So we're real careful what we buy now because they can hide it anywhere. They are in motels and hotels. I found out on the internet and I, I researched it all and they are really hard to get rid of. It only takes one to start a family. They use the eggs and I watched them from little on on the internet. I am an expert on bed bugs. Y'all didn't know that, did you? <laughs> but I certainly am. So I, if I ever get them again, I know what to do. Move out and burn the house down. No, we better not do that. <laughs> but don't think I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Doing something. I told him I wanted to move out of there and leave. Now he sold the place, but not till, well, about a year or so after we got rid of all the bed bugs. So we was blessed. I've had fun today talking to y'all about my bud, bed, bloody bed bugs. And I'm not English, but that's what they are. They were bloody and they bite you. And I would cry with the pain. And it is just like a mosquito bite. I would swell up and I would itch for 15 minutes. You know, I bought all kinds of itch medicine for those mosquito bites. You can buy all kinds of medicine to stop the itch and none of them worked. And they cost big bucks at the drugstore. Check it out. All right. I'm done. God bless y'all. And you walk that walk where Jesus would be pleased with you. I'm having fun. God is so good to me. And bless you, you children out there that are watching. Bye-bye.